The man wrote not. In today's little exercise, oh, welcome back. In today's little exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie the man rope knot and it's a rather decorative diamond looking knot in the end of a rope and more often than not now you see them in houses on the end of uh, ropes um, on the railings you know if when you've got a rope railing going up the stairs or something like that or outside instead of putting a knot into some form of rope railing you put a foot rope, not a foot rope, foot rope knot, the leaves come out there, it's a man rope knot, you put a man rope knot in the end of it and it's just a decorative stopper knot on the end of your rope. And so today's little exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the man rope knot into the end of our rope like so and yeah, let's get on and start knotting. Oh, and before we do, if you like this video, please click the like button. Um, much appreciated if you do that. So I'm going to shut up and let's get on and do some knotting. Okay, so let's imagine we've got a long length of rope here and oh, just towards the end of the rope, so that's the end of the rope here, a little bit back, I have tied it off with a constrictor knot and if you don't know how to tie the constrictor knot, I'll put a link in at the end of the video so that you can see how to tie the actual constrictor knot. And to be honest, it's a fantastic little knot to learn because you will use it a lot as you are doing your knotting projects. And then if you imagine here, the rope continues off that way. But I've only got a short section here to demonstrate. So we've now tied off our rope at this point here with a constrictor knot and all I'm going to do is then unravel, unravel the three strands of my rope like so so that I end up with three separate strands as such and that is basically the first part of it and don't forget it's unraveled to this point here but here going on for as long as you want you've got your normal rope so we're just holding it in place at this point here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie a crown knot into our work. And so what I'm going to do is just lay it out like this. Actually, we're tying a wool knot. What am I talking about? But it is a crown knot. A crown knot and a wool knot are the same. It just depends which way up you're doing it. Because I'm doing it upside down, you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm actually tying a crown. Or am I tying a wool? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take any one of the leads. So I'm going to pick the rear one here and I'm going to bring it round and pass it over this one here. And I'm leaving a gap in there because we're going to use that gap shortly. I then take the one that's just been passed over and I pass it over one, two, like so. Pass it over two, like so. And then finally... This rope here that's been passed over, I'll take the end of that, pass it over the one that just passed over it, and then bring it down through the hole like so. And don't worry too much about your seizing being in the way, because that'll be cut out later on as well. And so basically now we have crowned it, but if I turn it over, I've actually put a wall knot in it. You see now what I mean? Crown knot is a wall knot upside down, and just then, Pull it up gently, and what I'll do is take the seizing out of the way, get that out of the way, out the way, and we now have a wall knot tied in our work like so. Right, at this point here, we're now gonna tie a crown knot in it. And when we look at, if you're looking down on this, you can see that there's a natural pattern of, an, of a clockwise direction going on here. So you can see here now the leads are naturally tending to turn in a clockwise direction. So the next thing we're going to do is any one of the leads once again it doesn't matter which one we start with so I'm going to start with this one here and I'm going to pass it over that one. So pass it over that one and leave a loop just there. Then the one that's just been passed over will pass over this lead here and then pass over this lead here. And then finally, the lead that's just been passed over, we grab the end of that, 
bring it over this lead here and then take it down through that original loop that we had. And now, as I pull up on that, just gently pull up on that, we now have a wall knot with a crown knot above it. And just pull it up, make it into a nice sort of flower shape, and you can see here now that our shape is starting to form quite nicely. So that's it. We've now done a wall knot and we've also done the crown knot. So now that we've got our wall knot underneath, our crown knot on top, the first thing that you'll notice is that where the lead comes out here, if we go to the left of that, you can see another lead here. And what we're basically going to do is on each one, we're going to follow. So we're going to take this lead here and follow that lead that's next to it. So I'm basically going to follow that lead. So I'm going to go round underneath this cord here and bring it up through that hole there because that's where that lead goes. So I'm going to bring it up through that point there. So bring it down, round and up through that point like so. And don't let them cross over. If they cross over, uncross them like so. Oops, it's crossing over. And then there we have it. So the next lead that I've got is, let's just take that there. This one's coming out here and there's the lead underneath that we need to follow. So basically I'm going to go follow exactly where that, just go parallel with it all the way around till it comes out of this hole here. And so I've got to go under two there and then bring it round and up through that gap there. Up through there like so. It's crossing over, uncross it and so it comes through there. And then the final one is this leads coming out here and what we want to do is follow this one here. So this one goes underneath there and it's going up in that gap there. It's coming up in that gap there and that's where we want to be as well. Up in that gap and just take it underneath, whoops, a bit fiddly, trying to keep it steady and nice and clean for the camera there, and oh, it's crossing over there, let's just uncross it and bring it through like so. And now that we've done that, just go around and tighten it up and make sure it doesn't cross, we want it all nice and parallel and neat as we do it. There we go. And it's getting there, just pull up the excess, like so, and there's our leads coming out there. Okay, so, now that we've done that, this is the point where we still continue to follow the one underneath round, but instead of following it all the way round, we basically follow it round till we get to the middle point there, and then tuck it down. So take it down through the middle, and if, if I pull up on that, you can see now it's following the one underneath and then suddenly going straight down the middle like so. And once again, with this one's coming out here, but the lead next to it is going over the top, so what we're gonna do is go over the top, tuck it down through the middle like so, and pull on it gently. And then on the final one, Take that, follows that one round there, so we're gonna follow it round and down through the middle. And you can poke your porky little fingers through it because it will take it because everything's locked in place now. And you can see here now, as I pull that through, I'm just gonna gently pull up on this now. And you can see here now that we're starting to get a nice symmetrical pattern. And just check, make sure nothing's crossing over. If it's crossing over, uncross it. And then gently pull your cords through. And you can see here now, we're starting to get that nice man rope effect on our piece of rope. Right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and tighten this all up. So just let me get my other tool and I'll come back and we'll tighten up on this one. Right, so 
Got my tool, my little um, fid here. And basically what we're going to do now is, if you imagine here, the rest of the rope is coming down here as normal. So what we want to do now is pull the excess here, because we don't want a, a bit of a slack end there. So we want to pull the excess up. And if I push on it, you can see it's pushing this one here. And so basically I'm gonna go round and just tighten up, follow that one round, tighten up until eventually I'll pull the right one. There, there it is, and pull it through like so. There's one crossed over there, we don't want it crossing over. And then we basically, all we do is go round, and here's another slack one, pull that up, so we're pulling that knot up tight, and follow it round like so, and bring it round, and eventually we will tighten up on it, and which one is it? It's one of these three here, there it is, and we're now pulling that one up tight as well. And then once again, around to the next one, pull that one up tight, pull that up tight, and eventually you will need your fid to do this, but you can see here now how we're gradually pulling this up nice and tight. And just keep working your way round, and eventually you will need your fid to pull on the bits. And I don't know where that one's going. Where's that one going? It's that one. Okay. And then pull up on that one. Pull it through there like so. Like so. Just keep pulling it nice and tight. Want it really tight on the end. And then down through the middle. And you can see here that as I'm tightening this up, we're getting a lovely, nice knot on the end here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll tighten this up a bit more and then we'll come on to the next bit. So as you can see, I've gone round and I've tightened it some more and it start, it's turned into a nice end to our rope here. If you imagine here, these are the three strands that are coming out. We still have our rope here. And so the next thing I would do is cut the three strands here and we end up with a nice rope with a nice firm stopper knot on the end of it, which is actually a man rope knot. Um, and this, I mean, because I've done this with this cord, you can do it in paracord. You can make a nice little stopper knot with your paracord. Um, it doesn't have to be this. And then when, if you've made this knot in your paracord, you can go on from here and continue making a lanyard or whatever else you're making. But this here is just a basic simple instruction on how to tie a man rope knot. Okay, so once again, thanks very much for watching. If you liked it, please click like. It always helps me out. And if you enjoyed it, please share it with others so they can watch it as well. And see you again shortly for another little knot. Thank you. Bye-bye.